Hundreds of local children are big winners thanks to a D.C. company that has a program that encourages its employees to volunteer in their communities. In fact, with this company, it's not just an encouraging or a suggestion. And nearly every single one of the 3,500 employees that work there volunteer directly with youngsters or help area nonprofits somehow, some way. And that makes the advisory board company and its army of volunteers this week's Harris Heroes. Which one are we going to read first? Mary Margaret McElroy is a lawyer, but for one lunch hour a week, she trades in her legal books for children's books. Smash, crash. Smash, crash. And reads with first grader Skyla Proctor at the School Without Walls at Francis Stevens. He looks kind of happy. He looks sad. He looks sad. Amanda Schechter spends her lunch hour reading with seven-year-old Robert Paris. Both the students and the volunteers enjoy their one-on-one -on -one time and see the benefits. If you don't know how to read, then you're not going to be in such a great you know, His speed at reading is tremendously increased, so it's just been really cool to kind of watch that progression. And it's such a great break in my day um, to be able to come here and come to the school for an hour and read. Man, I like that. In another classroom, software engineer Aaron Smalls helps run a weekly robotics club for fourth and fifth grade students. Building stuff is literally second of my favorite things, actually. It's kind of new because I never built a robot before. Um, it gives us a chance to use the skills that we do every day um, to help kids. So, I mean, I think it's a great thing. All the volunteers work for the advisory board, a company that encourages employees from entry level to executives to give back to their communities. In fact, nearly 100% of the company's employees do just that. And CEO Robert Musselwhite says when you make an investment in youth, you're going to inflect um, outcomes in higher education and ultimately employment. But even in some of these short interactions, you can make a real difference. Success. <laughs> That's right. Community is culture there with the advisory board. In all, the employees volunteer in about 30 schools in D.C., Virginia, and Maryland. And they also serve as coaches, and they help older students with their college essays and job applications. Allison? Oh, that's wonderful. Leon, thank you.